So Apple has released iOS 26.2 beta 3 update. I have already installed it in my 15 Pro. So what are the changes after beta 3? I'm going to explain each and everything. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now talking about the first change that is for liquid glass level C. Last week, Apple introduced all new liquid glass inspired level design inside measure application. And that was uh, with beta 2 update. But after beta 3 update, Apple has further, uh, you know, refined the design to avoid obscuring what numbers are shown in certain situations. So if you're using level, I'll try to show you the difference between beta 2 update and beta 3 update. In beta 2 update, the number used to get cut. Refraction was not that accurate. But after beta 3 update, you can see, uh, you can easily notice the difference. Number is visible now and the refraction is much more accurate. So that's the basic change after beta 3 update. Next thing is you do get a new option in airdrop. So if you go to settings and then in general and if you go to airdrop, you can see there is a new option of manage known airdrop contacts. So you can just simply tap on that and you can check out the known contacts with whom you are, uh, you know, sharing files through airdrop. This is one thing. Uh, now, there is a new option. You can see there is an explanation down here which says you will automatically appear for 30 days to people you have shared a single use code with. So, what is this? So, iOS 26.2 beta 3 uh, includes an option to generate one time airdrop code which can uh, then be shared with someone who is not in your contact list. This code allows file exchanges over airdrop for a 30 day period. And also, uh, people you have shared a one-time code with can be managed by opening settings application and you can just simply go to airdrop like this and you can manage that in manage known airdrop contacts. Also, do let me know in comment section that this feature is useful or not. Now, talking about the next change, I think there will be a change in terms of side button usage, uh, which we usually use to activate Siri. So, what will happen is you will be able to select a new app to activate with side button allowing uh, alternate assistant like Gemini or Alexa to be used on iPhone. For now, if I press and hold, you know, side button, it will only activate Siri. But as said, in future, you might uh, be able to use assistant like uh, Google Gemini or Alexa on your iPhone. Let me tell you one more thing that for now, it will be only available in Japanese Apple account or uh, people living in Japan. I don't know. Uh, when this feature will be available for rest of the world. After beta 2 update, there was a change in animation. So if you tap on edit like this, this was the new animation. And on the home page itself, or uh, let's say uh, in music application, the animation was smooth, but in some application, uh, the animation was not that great. It was jittery, but after beta 3 update, the animation is much more smoother this time. Next is, when you access your Apple account for the first time after installing 26.2 beta 3 update, you will see an alert letting you know that Apple's privacy information for Apple accounts has been updated to better explain how personal information is collected and used by Apple. So basically, uh, if you're, uh, you know, accessing your Apple account, you will get a new splash screen explaining all those things. So these are some basic changes after beta 3 update. Let me show you the build number as well. So this is the build number for beta 3 update and that is 23C5044B. Uh, it means RC update or the stable update is coming soon. Uh, we can see that in few weeks and talking about the modem firmware for 15 Pro it is 3.20.03. Uh, this was same in beta 2 update as well. Talking about the battery backup in beta 2 update uh, that is not great at all after installing 26.1 uh, the battery backup was good but in beta 2 update of 26.2 the battery backup is not that great so yeah if you are on stable update i won't recommend you to go for beta update i would recommend you to wait for 26.2 stable update so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope this video was helpful if it was then don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you all in the next one thank you